So let's get into the root chakra. Guys, this chakra is extremely important. I think more important than I realized at first. There is a lot of issues that you've probably been going through that you had no idea were directly related with your root chakra. And when you begin to open up this chakra, when you begin to balance it and to love it and it is thriving, your life is going to be just so different from probably anything you've previously experienced. So the root chakra is at the base of our spine. Um, so it's, to me, it's like kind of like at that opening of like, I would say perineum, vaginal opening, like it, it's right there. This is also the spot where you would go through like a Kundalini awakening. So if you are trying to access those parts of you, understand before that crazy energy can, you know, unfurl pretty much as the, as the snake lengthens out. To get to that area, you have to already have your root chakra balanced and cleared or it's just never going to happen for you. <laughs> and I think that's why for most people, it never has. Um, but we're not talking about the Kundalini today. We're talking about that base chakra that root chakra this is literally like the foundation for all of your other chakras when this one is out of alignment um nothing else is going to work smoothly it really isn't now there are some other chakras that we have that if one is lacking another one can actually kind of pick up the pace and um maybe put in a little bit of extra work to where Perhaps you could still get things done. You're really not going to notice. It's not going to be that big of an issue, but to have a blockage in, with a root chakra, it's going to affect everything from your money to where you live and um, your, your love life, your relationships. So the colors that correspond with the root chakra, when you're doing meditations and everything, you're always going to be thinking of red, um, especially when you're thinking of like a pulsating light or a clockwise spinning ball, it's always going to be red, but the other, the secondary color is black. And so that's why we have a lot of root chakra type crystals, which we'll get into these later, but um, you know, usually reds and blacks that's all root chakra. The element for root chakra is earth. That is why some of the balancing activities involve grounding yourself in nature usually, feeling the grass in between your toes. Um, the cool thing about this root chakra is that its main function is to keep you grounded, but it also provides you stability, security, safety, and survival. So going back to that grounding, that is where when you're feeling overwhelmed, when things are feeling hectic and it's it's hard for you to make maybe tough uh, decisions or um, to plan for the future. Usually you need to ground your energy. When it comes to the stability, this isn't just um, physical stability because when your physical stability is off, it's also usually um, your uh, root chakra is impaired. But this is also this type of stability for your finances, maybe for being able to hold down a job or your place of re residence. When your root chakra is off, you might notice you are moving every couple of months, maybe every three months, every six months. Um, so this is like stability in every sense. Um, when it comes to security now, this isn't just physical security because remember the root chakra is a very physical type chakra just like a kundalini awakening it's very physical like trust me you're going to know when you're going through that type of awakening with the root chakra it does rule a part of our sexuality it's just it's very physical in nature so when it comes to security, this could be maybe you had your home broken to, you do not feel safe at home. Maybe you grew up in an abusive home to where you feel like only certain areas in the home is safe. So maybe that would be your bedroom. And this is even after you are out of your parents' house. Like even as an adult, as soon as you get home from work and you have an entire house to yourself, you still want to hole up in your bedroom because this is your safe spot. Um, so the feeling of security, is also um you know what your root chakra functions and manages also it's not just the physical security of you feeling safe but also your financial security if you feel like if you miss a day of work well now you're going to be behind on your bills you can't pay your bills i mean that is usually an indication that your root chakra is not balanced and it um it isn't thriving or it isn't working to its greatest potential um, another main function, we said safety. Obviously, this is a physical safety. Um, I, I also want to say that when it comes to security and stability, the 
not a lot of people talk about it but the root chakra also governs like your emotional stability your emotional security if you're in a relationship where maybe they've left you before and you get a little nervous when you have not heard from them maybe in a couple hours or if you feel very nervous when they go through mood swings maybe they didn't say anything directly that was negative but just the way they're maybe their tone or they're acting just a little bit distant and you're picking up on all of those little cues those unsaid cues this is also a huge red flag that your um sacred or not your sacral but your root chakra is off balance and um just that feeling of being emotionally stable of uh feeling you know that safety even within our relationships this is all governed by the root chakra and i really wanted to talk about this on my channel because if we're looking into relationships if we're looking into our sexuality and how to build um safe and passionate and healthy relationships you cannot get there when the root chakra is off so if you're working on yourself right now if you're building yourself up if you're doing your shadow work and you're healing just understand a part of that is working with your root chakra. So the areas of the body that the root chakra governs, now it governs a lot like your adrenal glands, your bones, your kidneys, your muscles, but I'm gonna just get into the more um, important things like your feet and your legs, your colon, your bladder, your lower back. Any type of yoga poses, any type of stretches that have to do with your lower back or your feet or your legs, all will stimulate that root chakra. Whenever you are having pains in these areas, you're having issues, it could be with your knees, um, it could be tightness in your hips. This is all a sign that you might have a blockage in your root chakra and you might have to set aside a couple of minutes in your day, maybe five minutes to where you're doing more hip opening type um, stretches or yoga poses if you're into yoga. Um, all of this can help you with opening up that root chakra, activating it, and getting it to where it's just, it's stimulated in a way that is just beneficial for you and is going to help you in your life and even in your relationships. I know it does not sound like these things like, okay, how does a doing a hip opening exercise going to affect my relationship? It's just about the mindfulness that you're going to have to put in once you um, are self-aware and you acknowledge Yes, I do have an issue. I want to get to the root of the issue, to the root chakra, and I want to start balancing this out. Then you taking the time to kind of, um, you know, do these stretches and to meditate, do the color therapy, all of this is going to help you get to a place of just healing and of peace. So the root chakra, you guys have probably already heard, it's mostly about that energy center that is all about your survival, your basic needs. So like shelter, food, sleep, money, physical vitality. Remember, this is a very physical chakra. Um, and then of course your emotional needs like love and affection. If you feel like you're not getting enough affection in your relationship, enough attention. Again, this all goes back to root chakra issues also what a lot of people do not know um, outside of just your root chakra controlling your sense of stability and safety it also has to do with your family history your ancestors and issues from your past life so sometimes balancing out a chakra especially if you're like why is my life starting out like this? Like, why do I seem to have this bad karma coming towards me? You cannot figure out where is it coming from. For some people, you have some ancestral debt, just some really heavy energy that literally is passed down. This is where things get scary. These chakras, they hold energy, okay? So not only will they will they suck in new energy, but sometimes they will not emit any energy and they have to be able to let that flow of energy come and go naturally for when, for them to be um, just working properly and so think about if you grew up in a family where it wasn't only your mom and dad who were poor but their parents were poor and their grandparents were poor you know they're always going to have this sense of inse insecurity they're not going to have financial stability they're always going to have this fear and they're going to have this very tight very um this very tight this very dull root chakra and then think about it you you know, came out of your father and into your mother and, you know, the little sperm fertilized the egg. And then for the first nine months of your life are spent in this area, right? You literally went through the root chakra. Now we're into the sacral where all of this negative energy is harbored from our parents, from the parents before them. So it's not just in your DNA. Literally, you are living your life in that area of instability, of stress. It's, it's so... 
it can just bring out the worst in people. So if you have issues where maybe you did not come from the most stable family, understand that some of this energy you might be feeling isn't even really yours. It was just passed down to you. Some of these fears that you might have of maybe not having a home, of needing a home of your own, maybe completely, you know, you could live with a boyfriend, you could live with a family member, but you're just, you're so stuck on, no, it has to be mine. I'm afraid of it getting taken away or something, or you don't want to put your husband completely like on the paperwork for certain things that you own because God forbid you guys divorce, you don't want it to be taken away from you. Sometimes if you have these fears that seem like, fears of things that you've never even gone through, you don't know where this fear came from, understand that this could have been a generational issue. This could have been something from a family member, from an ancestor. Um, it doesn't even have to be your issue and it can affect you and it can negatively impact your life. Going back to the issues from past lives, if you have past karma, in this life whether you believe in past lives or not um so if, you know for some of you you can just you know tune out but for those of you who do um there are some things that we've done in other lives that were very good that in this life we will get rewarded for uh, when it comes to time and the universe there is no time and so just because you lived like a saint in the last life and maybe you died poor because you gave all of your money to those orphans it does not mean that your life was for naught usually in the next life you will probably be rewarded just greatly <laughs> um because when it comes to the universe it's not like oh i have to give all of the rewards in that lifetime it's just like if you're reincarnating it's gonna especially if you're choosing if you believe that we choose where we go if we choose what planet we're going to if we have a choice in who our parents are um some of these 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 good karma these blessings sometimes they will come up in other lifetimes and it is the exact same thing with negative karma sometimes we can look at a birth chart we can literally see where the negative past life karma was kind of who you were in that past life and uh <laughs> what you may have to atone for in this life what you that uh, that sense of guilt that you have even though you did not do anything wrong in this life understand when it comes to time the universe doesn't just time does not exist so you it doesn't matter that it's this life and you didn't do anything bad in this life you would still have to fix what was done the wrongs you made in that past life so obviously doing past work or past life regression uh, therapy is very helpful but a lot of you can get to that you can unearth this on your own like you don't have to go to someone else to help you don't have to pay all the money because it is usually a very expensive therapy but just know this is something that you can work on now if you have um if you have knowledge of birth charts and being able to see where the past life karma is um what sort of person you used to be then you will you will be able to heal it from there i just want you to keep in mind that our ancestral memories are held in our root chakra so when your root chakra is balanced, you're going to feel grounded, you're going to be connected to the earth. Um, you might have a few plants. Um, if you do not have any plants and maybe you feel like, I do not have a green thumb and it's going to die. Um, honestly, I would go get some seedlings now and I would start trying to plant something because you have some type of blockage and plant therapy is very helpful for helping you to just feel confident in yourself that you can help things grow and um, a part of the grounding process is nature and those beautiful things that grow and thrive and maybe they blossom and you like plant like a jalapeno plant or it could be a flower like an orchid and you taking care of it you nurturing it just understand that you're not just proving to yourself that you can do it but you're also healing parts of you that you might not have even known were blocked Another thing that you'll notice when your root chakra is balanced is that money is never an issue. I'm not saying you're going to be a millionaire, but you're going to have enough money to where whatever you want to do, you're covered. You're not going to the grocery store um, trying to figure out what to put back because you don't think you're going to have enough. You don't have your heart start beating quickly when the cashier is ringing you up because you don't know if your card is going to go through. Was that noise you just heard, was that the machine rejecting your card or was it accepting it? You, you're not going to have that stress. You know, you're going to feel like you have enough. And um, 
like I said, you might not be a millionaire, but the things that you want to do will be done. You're not going to feel like you don't have enough for food. You're not, you're not going to feel like you can't go out with your friends and go get a few drinks once a week or whatnot. You're going to be able to easily manifest money and continue to keep it coming into your life in a, you know, a very steady stream, not just one lump sum once a once a year with like taxes or something it'll you know it'll be pretty continuous another thing you'll notice when your root chakra is balanced is that you're going to have a lot of physical energy um so your strength as far as maybe going for a light jog or maybe doing a workout you're not going to feel like um, you're winded and uh, you need to lay down for the next three days just because you uh, did like two laps around a track or something or because you ran on a treadmill for 15 minutes our root chakra being a very physical chakra it does govern our uh, physical vitality and so when the root chakra is balanced you're going to have plenty of energy you are not going to need caffeine i promise you you're not even going to need pre-workout um it's it's a beautiful thing when your root chakra is in working order and thriving so now let's get to the good stuff the stuff that actually affects your relationships when your root chakra is balanced you're going to have amazing self-esteem you not only that you're going to have really great integrity as well you're going to notice that you're going to easily feel excited or passionate or motivated um, when it comes to you and your physical growth you're just going to feel like you can pretty much take on anything you're also going to feel secure in your relationships just because you did not hear from him for the last four or five hours you're not going to suddenly start jumping to conclusions of what could he be doing it's been four or five hours, he has not texted me back. Like, you're not gonna be thinking the worst of who is he with or um, someone else trying to replace you. You're not gonna have those issues. You're gonna be able to live your life and give people the space to live theirs, which in turn is going to attract more people to you because you're not gonna be giving off this clingy, I need someone, I'm very codependent energy. You're not going to be giving that, you're not gonna be driving people away with uh, these mental images in your head that haven't even happened you jumping to conclusions or assumptions you're not going to have that issue which really in a lot of relationships i think they go south in our mind sometimes physically nothing has happened yet it's just the mindset that is just sour and it's like a poison and everything it touches it just it gives you self-doubt it gives you low self-esteem there's someone prettier than me or maybe his ex had um, you know a better job than you had and you feel like you're a burden you're not gonna have those issues when your root chakra is balanced so you feeling like you're struggling with your emotions or you're struggling to even feel safe this is all a red flag that that root chakra is off balance it is they need some help um, another thing is you might be experiencing like constipation um, your digestive tract like food you know you eat something all of a sudden you're bloating or maybe you're running to the bathroom because you can't control yourself um, this could all be an indication of an off-balance root chakra um, your attachment issues I think um, the attachment style is one of the more popular relationship styles nowadays people getting too attached um, kind of being a little bit too clingy, needing too much from their partner. Um, this can go back to you constantly needing to post things on social media, not just to share with everyone what you're doing, but you're also watching how many likes you're getting, you're watching how many views it's getting, and it is impacting your your mood. Like it's either bringing you down and you're wondering what's going on, am I being shadow banned? Or, you know, it's really getting to you that that certain person did not see that Snapchat story. Again, feeling so attached needing um you know people from the outside to build you up and to make you feel good about yourself if your root chakra is balanced this is not an issue you fill your own cup you are your happiness you are your stability and that confidence that you have is what just sucks people in it's just like a magnet so I made a list of the physical symptoms um, of what happens if you have a blocked root chakra. One is low blood pressure, another could be anemia, digestive issues, bowel related issues. So this could be constipation or it could be IBS. So you could go from, you know, any extreme. This could be lower back pain, bladder issues, leg or feet issues, 
prostate issues, kidney issues, um, blood flow, bone and muscle conditions, adrenal gland issues, cramps, and inflammation. When we get to mental and emotional symptoms, it's more like depression, anxiety, negativity, being cynical. Um, you could be greedy, you, you know, you like to hoard things. Maybe instead of buying one box of rice when you go to the store, you're buying like three just in case, you know, which is you screaming out, I don't feel safe, I don't feel like I'm, I feel like someone's going to take this away from me or I'm not going to have enough. Um, so being greedy sometimes can <laughs> definitely uh, kind of be a red flag. Um, eating disorders, insecurities, um, living in survival mode, like you feel like at any moment you need to be ready to go, ready to leave. Um, another thing could be lack of energy, you worrying, panicking, frustration, resentment, anger. I mean, this list is huge, guys. <laughs> lack of focus, feeling disorganized, um, pessimism, overthinking. You can see how even taking a third of those could completely wreck a relationship. And it's like, if you are not doing this shadow work, if you are not doing this healing, how do you expect to have a healthy relationship? How do you expect to have one where you feel like it's fulfilling and it's passionate and it's worthwhile? You know, you might be able to keep a long-term relationship, but it's just like, how is it really making you feel? Like, is this what you want? Like, is this what you really, really want? Or do you feel like you settled because you're afraid that you won't find anyone like this person or you feel like, well, I could probably do a lot worse, so how to stay in this relationship? So when it comes to balancing out the root chakra, um, my favorite thing to do are um, guided meditations. There's so many on YouTube. Um, if you really are serious about this, I know Pluto just went retrograde. And so a lot of us are going to be thinking about healing. We're going to be thinking about our insecurities. Um, you know, the parts of us that we usually like to turn a blind eye to. The parts of us that maybe we don't even have a lot of self-awareness about. Um, right now doing those guided meditations, even if it's for 10 minutes a day, could be so helpful. They're guided, so it's gonna tell you, you know, just what to do to lay down. If you have some crystals, my favorite for root chakra is um, obsidian. This one will also help you if you feel like you might have some ancestral um, issues or like karma, um, maybe from your past lives or just, um, just any type of emotional negativity or anything from, it could be family members, or from past lives, but obsidian is great for that. Another is black tourmaline. Um, this is really, really great for grounding and getting out those pessimistic thoughts and just clearing out all of those negative energies. So these are both really, really, really great to use. There's tons of other root chakra type um, crystals like smoky quartz, red jasper, hematite, bloodstone, even obsidian. I mean, you guys could just Google this stuff. So another very important reason to start doing some root chakra healing would be if you had a rough childhood. If you grew up in a family where maybe you guys did not have enough money, so you were kind of worried about where your next meal would come, or you didn't even have enough to pack your school lunch, you had to have free lunch, or um, maybe you guys did not have uh, electricity or running water for certain times of the year because you guys weren't able to pay the bill, um, or if you had to move around a lot, or if you were homeless at any point in your life. So this doesn't just always have to be childhood stuff. This could be things that have happened while you're a teenager or an adult. You will definitely need to do some root chakra healing. And the beautiful thing is you can fix all of this. It doesn't matter how you started off your life. All of this can be fixed once you acknowledge it. And once you just make the decision to heal. You can heal all of this and most of the healing it's just it's going to take place in your life and you're not even going to realize that things are getting better because it's just going to flow so it's not going to be like 101 things that you have to do in a day like you just start off so simple just start by a simple med meditation you don't need certain crystals to do the meditation you can do the meditation just with the power of your mind but just by you acknowledging that there may be an issue and just making the effort is going to just go so far for you. So I know I talked about physical insecurities growing up um, or even if you had um, you know physical instability, um, not physical but a uh, financial instability <laughs> as um, an adult. But another very important thing to keep in mind is if you had any issues um, in your household with um, getting love or 
um, getting affection, if you were sexually molested, if you were taken advantage of, if you were abused physically, um, all of that fear, all of that negative emotion, um, it does need to be healed and um, it will kind of harbor itself in your root chakra and when we heal this we make sure that we do not pass this on to our children we make sure that the pain it ends with us you know and not only that but you'll feel like it just it takes a weight off of your shoulders um aaron dowdy here on youtube he has some great meditations um, one of my favorite is the hopono ono i can't say it correctly but it's this it's this guided meditation and anyone who has abused you you're going to be thinking of your abuser and it's going to sound weird but you are showing gratitude you are saying i love you i'm sorry and you would think this is the worst thing to do to someone who's been abused but really it's helping you to accept your hurt and to release it to where it is no longer you're no longer getting so worked up when you think about it and it's no longer maybe a memory that you've repressed and just you try to pretend like it's not there it's allowing you to see it for what it is to feel the emotion but then to let go so it's okay you might notice that you might actually start crying during some of these meditations i've definitely had that happen there are some childhood healing meditations where you would actually it'll bring up like repressed memories that maybe you forgot about and again you can do this all on your own you do not have to pay money most of these meditations are on youtube but it will bring up those memories those feelings and you're going to feel it and you're going to notice that by the end of your meditation no matter if you want to do it for um you know one day two day three days or for an entire week by the time you're done you're going to feel just so much lighter you might not even notice that you were holding on to it or that it was kind of weighing you down it's incredible how this works so we got into you know some of the the darker aspects of the root chakra and the blockages and the things that can cause the blockages let's talk a little bit more about what we can do when we decide to heal them now when it comes to healing everyone's going to be different i don't want to lie to you because um, right now i have jupiter transiting my eighth house and so all of the wounds the deep dark repressed thoughts and my you know my darker side my shadow all of that is just being highlighted as well as i have mars in my 12th transiting my 12th but i natally have mars in my 12th and so obviously i'm hyper focused on this and um as i have gone through this i'm able to now share with you guys exactly what you might notice so when you are you know working with your shadow side with these um you know these parts of us that we like to just forget and pretend like they're not there you might notice that you might feel a little heavy and it, it's like the saying goes you have to feel it to heal it so don't be scared off if bringing up these old thoughts and these old memories while you're doing these meditations or if you start to get emotional and you want to cry don't think that that's a bad sign that's actually a very positive sign because and able for you to heal this and to move on and to really just put it behind you you're going to have to feel it again so it's going to come back up also don't be surprised um, when it comes to this healing your relationships with other people to your exes and people that you've dated in the past coming out of the woodwork um, for me i've had so many contact me while i've been um, just focusing on my root chakra and the healing and um you know for some people this is going to be a good thing for others it's going to be a bad thing so you might have like literally i've had people i've not talked to in years um and uh, it's usually multiple people who are going to just start contacting you you're going to feel like you're going through like a mercury retrograde or something and uh, the only explanation I have for you is that this is the universe's way of allowing you to close out some of those old chapters but to also highlight what were you feeling, what, where, what was your mindset at and you're going to be able to look at these things from a new perspective so you might find that you might want to get back with some of these exes and things might look like they're going really good and then you're going to notice you might hit like a little road bump it's okay because that's the universe's way of bringing that same challenge back in front of you and it's like okay show me what you learned show me what you've been working on so don't be surprised if those old habits those old negative those old scary thoughts that you'd have of oh they're going to leave me again or oh i'm not good enough don't be surprised if those come back up don't be surprised if you start feeling a little insecure if you haven't heard from them in a couple hours or you start freaking out or 
if you start falling back into your old ways i i really feel like this is a part of the healing process and this time it's like okay what can you do better you know what what can you do how can you how can you heal um and also some of these you're meant to have them put right back in front of you just so you can see them with new eyes and you might notice that you're not even interested anymore <laughs> like you might see it from a new perspective and you can see where you went wrong you can see where they went wrong and it's not going to matter because you're just going to be like thank you i've i've seen it i've healed it and now you're just going to move on and you know you might not even want to give that person a second chance so um understand if you start healing this and these old things start coming up it could be people from your past that maybe you weren't in a romantic relationship with or it could be your exes um everything that's brought back to you during this time of healing is not meant to stay some of them might be but some of them might not so don't be surprised if some of these people fall back away because really it was just meant to bring up those old thoughts to allow you to see um, just things from a new perspective and it's not necessarily meant to be a part of your future um, now some might be because everyone's going to be different so just get ready for that um, but yeah back to what I was saying so here's some of the things that you can also implement but 100% I want the first thing that you focus on to be the meditations it can be a 10 minute meditation, it can be a 30 minute meditation. And um, for me specifically, I'm going to try to do it for at least 28 days. So a full lunar cycle. Start at any time you want. You could do it for a whole week. You could do it for three days. Um, but uh, for some of this healing, it, it's, it might take um, you know just some extra love for you to start um, just feeling just the weight just fall off it's just like i've already felt like how my vibration not only has it raised itself and i feel more confident but it stays raised it's like of course i'll have those dips during the day where i might feel a little insecure or you know a little um not sure of myself or just you know just just have a lower vibration like that's gonna happen but i feel like my vibrational set point has 100 percent it's been like my new average vibration is so much higher than I was before I started this healing. So the meditation is number one. Number two will be eating the healthy diet. You'll notice if you cut out things like, you know, maybe fast food or do it in moderation, 100% your physical vitality will come back, your energy will come back, and that is a sign of your root chakra being balanced and healthy. It'll also help you if you're having issues with like constipation or maybe IBS. Um, getting your diet healthier will help those things just like diminish completely. Um, color therapy is very important with when working with the root chakra so eating things like red bell peppers red apples things that are just red in general that's a very mindful way to heal your to heal your root chakra um, consistent exercise this is the easiest and fastest way to um, boost your root chakra and to balance it is to get those legs moving so going for jogs maybe going sprinting maybe going running or maybe going walking at a brief pace because remember root chakra also rules our legs and our feet so as soon as you get those moving you'll notice everything like your vibration will rise like even if it, it's difficult for the first couple days keep up with it make it a habit and you'll notice it's going to become so easy and naturally when you don't do it you might find that your vibration might kind of like i don't know it might fall a little bit and so you'll see where this is really helping you to live a more fulfilled life and just to feel so much better about yourself and in your own body and this will also help um, if you're having any type of blockages with your colon because it'll get that moving it'll help you if you have uh, blood pressure issues um exercise and and the healthy diet 100% you could just do those things and already you're balancing out your root chakra Another one is yoga definitely look for you know root chakra yoga poses um, anything that opens up your hips because that's where we keep like a lot of tension a lot of stiff hips um, opening up those will help you with um, balancing out that chakra um, we also have chanting and toning there's lots of different chants you can do on YouTube you can follow along they'll do different tones and it's made to vibrate all the way down into your core all the way down into that root chakra um, another one is anything with the great outdoors so this could be hiking gardening okay so getting a plant you don't even have to go buy a plant guys you can just get some seeds from um if you eat bell peppers save some of those seeds or if you eat a uh, passion fruit um you know take take a fruit seed um and uh take a little pot 
get some potting soil and uh, grow your own little seed. This is very helpful. I've been doing this and it 100% works. Another thing is cooking, being mindful about the cooking. So not just quick cooking where you're just throwing things in the oven or throwing in the microwave, like, you know, cook something that you're excited about. The color therapy, so wearing red, um, it could be a red shirt, it could be red panties, especially since the root chakra governs that area. Um, my favorite is Kegels. Oh my gosh, Kegels, Kegels, Kegels. The best, <laughs> the best recommendation I was ever given or advice was to do Kegels if you are around the opposite sex. Um, you could do them right before uh, going on a date or anywhere where you feel like all eyes are on you. Do these Kegels. Something really weird happens with your energy. Now I understand more about my root chakra and what happens because it's activating that chakra, which is also activating your confidence, your sense of emotional security. And um, this is one of those things where you'll start to notice people um, approaching you more often. <laughs> Um, wanting to get to know you. Also, when you're doing those Kegels, not only is it activating your root chakra, but it's also activating your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is your pleasure zone. It is also your joy, your happiness. Um, this is your, your femininity. And so when you're activating both of those at the same time, it's just like, it's a secret weapon, guys. So 100% I just I dare you to try it <laughs> next time you're around someone you that you like or maybe you're just like out in public and just maybe going out to eat or going out to do groceries start to do some kegels you can do them anywhere and it just changes your your vibration and um, people are very receptive to our energy and I don't think I realized that until I started experimenting with some of these tips and tricks and holy crap the way it's gonna change your life <laughs> Um, another thing to raise your root chakra is walking barefoot on earth so you can just go into your backyard just maybe put your feet in the grass for just a couple of minutes um, that's very helpful I've not done it but I know a lot of people who do and that's their favorite way to balance themselves and to ground themselves when it comes to essential oils my favorites to use for balancing my root chakra or just like raising the vibration in general are um, like clove ginger and rosemary I also just made like a blend with our new moon last night using rosemary um, and so this will open up that chakra and uh, get the energies flowing in and equally flowing out, which that's what you need. So when it's off kilter, sometimes it'll hold on to energies it shouldn't hold on to. And also it won't be able to emit energies. And those energies that it emits, that's where you get this attraction from other people and opportunities. And this is where that energy brings in the flow of like money. It, it's so weird, but yeah, you need to have that area opened up so the energy is coming and it's also able to go um and also uh, sex will stimulate it i know some people might not be having sex so you could also self-pleasure um if you're doing a whole lot of kegels like once you figure out how kegels can work out for you and like it starts to attract people you're probably gonna be doing them all the time because i know i was and so um you'll notice that achieving orgasm like even from just doing kegels you'll start to feel very um turned on and so all of this is about healing that area and honestly when that area gets really strong you're probably gonna have a kundalini awakening so just heads up for that i have not yet experienced it but if you're doing this over a long period of time i just wouldn't be surprised so all in all when our root chakra is balanced it has a huge impact on not only our physical health but our emotional well-being and our energetic body so the energies that people can see well no <laughs> the energies people can't see but also the energy that we ourselves can see like when we're feeling that two o'clock feeling and we need to take a nap every day all of that is controlled by our root chakra and so healing it is 100 percent worth your time and i just i really hope this video changed someone's life because i know when i started doing these things it 100 percent changed mine and right now is the perfect time to start healing these things with pluto being retrograde this this is the perfect time this is the perfect time so good luck guys and i'll see you in my next video